we're, we're talking about now about um, this is Belisi and Lenny, by the way, about um, a special feature of articular infinitives. Um, you remember these are combinations of the neuter singular of the definite article da, du, do, and da, okay, with an infinitive to give you what we call a gerund. So it's 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 the word it's a word like eating. Eating potatoes is good for you. Okay, um, that that's a noun derived from a verb, not a participle, and it can be the subject of a sentence. Okay, um, there are places in in Greek and and uh, theoretically in English where a gerund has a subject internal to it. So the way we generally do this in English is with a periphrasis or a roundabout thing, like we say, for a person to eat potatoes is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Now, there you've got, uh, you've lost the sense of it as a gerund, I think, but it really is a, just a roundabout form of a gerund, and for a person to eat potatoes, a person is the subject of the infinitive to eat, okay? Um, and that's the way we do this in English. In Greek, it's a lot simpler. You just take the gerund. It's like it would be the gerund for eating. In this case, in the case of our book, it's a word like writing. Let's say writing books is a good thing. Okay, so you have to okay. Okay. Um, uh, agathon, okay. That's a, that's a sentence that means writing is a good thing. If you want to say what we would say for Homer to write is a is an especially good thing or is a is a very good thing or something, you would say da, and then after that article you put in the accusative case. Okay, believe it or not, this is a subject in the accusative case. Okay, the noun honey, and and then the the rest of the infinitive, the rest of the gerund, the graphene form. So the 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 weird rule is that the subject of a finite verb, a verb with person and number and, and tense, um, is, goes in the nominative case. The converse of it, or the opposite of it, is the subject of an infinite verb, an infinitive which has no person and number, is in the accusative case. Okay? So this is kind of tricky to get the hang of. It's not to Homer and Graphine doesn't mean writing Homer is good. It means for Homer to write is good. Okay, is a good thing. All right, you get the idea? Mm -hmm. Make a reasonable amount of sense. Mm -hmm. So the, the reason that you have this switch is that if you put Homeros there, it, it, it's, it, it's disturbing, right? Because it, 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 then you're not making a distinction between the subject of the main sentence and the subject of the word of the, of the gerontography, right? Right. And you can really get confused. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a there's a function to this weird rule, but it's a very good rule. The, the rule being not not as the book does it, just a just a, a spec a special thing about gerunds, but a generic rule. But the subject of infinitives goes in the accusative case. The mm -hmm. subject of finite verbs in the nominative. Okay. Right. And so right. you have to really watch out for gender because this looks yes. like it could be yeah, accusative. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can tell that to homeron graphene is a ta is not applying to homeron, right? Exactly. The book will help you out with that. This is neuter. This is exactly. <laughs> Good point. Good point.